Hello, welcome fellow traders. AMP Futures here presenting another how to video. In today's video, we're going to go ahead and talk about the strategy tester using the TradingView platform. Now, the strategy tester is going to allow you to apply a strategy onto a chart for a market that you're trading and essentially allow you to view a back test hypothetical performance summary. Now, keep in mind what we're about to demonstrate is purely for educational purposes. This is not any trading advice, this is not a recommendation of any trading system. This is morally just education and understanding what the strategy tester is and where to go to access this particular tool using the TradingView platform. For example, the language that's used within TradingView is called PineScript. Now, as we mentioned in another idea that we did last week called Community Scripts, one of the biggest strengths, in my opinion, for TradingView is the community of traders that are involved in using TradingView, how you can directly interact with another trader right within the software itself. So in that community script idea video that we did last week, I explained that there are a lot of traders out there, third party traders that are familiar with the PineScript language. And some of these traders are kind enough to roll out some free trading strategies and custom scripts that you can use at your leisure whenever you want. So let's go ahead and show you how to apply some basic strategies onto your chart and how to access the strategy tester. So first thing I wanna point out, we're gonna click the indicators button here. And the market that we're currently plotting right now is the micro, S&P 500, this is an exchange traded futures contract that trades on the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna click this indicators button. And some of these strategies come included with TradingView, depending on the plan that you have. And if you notice here, we click on technicals, we have basic indicators, and then we have strategies. What you'll notice when you see a strategy is you'll notice that when you click on the strategies icon, you'll see a little icon to the right of the script name with an arrow pointing up and down. And this is a visual indication that you're actually looking at a strategy. Okay, so you can see some of these, some of these strategies that you see listed are just common indicators. For example, like Bollinger Bands, Keltner Channels, MACD, and more. So the first thing we're gonna do first is we're gonna go ahead and make sure that we have a time frame set up for our chart. So right now, we're currently looking at a one minute chart on the micro e mini S&P 500, and we're just gonna go for only a day's worth of data range. All right, now we're going to click the indicators button and we're going to pick a strategy that we want to apply onto the chart. So let's just keep this simple. We'll just go with the MACD strategy. We're going to left click on it. And the minute you left click on the MACD strategy, what it will also display for one, it'll give you an indication on the top of the corner that you do have a MACD strategy applied on the chart, as you can see there. And it'll give you visual trade confirmations of where trades actually took place on the chart itself. So of course, Blue arrows pointing up represent long trades, or better yet, long buy, buy orders, and then you have the red arrows pointing down, which represent sell orders. Now, when you once you apply the strategy onto the chart, your strategy tester will then accumulate all the data based on the parameters of the strategy that you added onto the chart. Okay, so you can see here, strategy tester, and you'll have some sub tabs within the strategy tester itself. First one being overview, performance summary, list of trades and properties. All right, so let's just go over a couple of things that we see here. I'm gonna go ahead and make this a little bigger so you can see more of the screen as far as the strategy tester section. And you can see the overview. So you, the overview essentially is gonna give you a visual representation of the equity curve, drawdowns, and you'll have an additional option in seeing the buy and hold equity as well. Now you can check or uncheck any one of these options if you only wanna see specific values of the actual overview. So for example, if I uncheck equity, you can see the equity curve goes away as well as drawdown. So pretty straightforward. And you have some different parameters and different values you can see as far as information. You can see net profit, total closed trades, percentage profitable, profit factor, max drawdown, average trade, as well as average number of bars in trades. What I would recommend doing if you're not familiar with the terminology for some of these parameters, just make sure you hover your mouse cursor with the circle with the eye, and it'll just basically tell you exactly what it is. So in this case, the overall profit or loss achieved. You hear in this case, total number of closed trades, winning and losing, et cetera. So pretty straightforward. Now keep in mind again, this is a hypothetical track record. So this is not including commissions, doesn't include slippage, things of that nature, which typically you will experience in live trading. Now, one thing that I wanna point out as well is you can go in to the settings of the strategy, you can change some of the inputs and you can also change some of the strategy properties. We'll go ahead and show you how to do that in a moment. On to the next tab where it says performance summary, this gives you a deeper dive as far as the statistical values of how the strategy performed. So you can see, for example, net profit, 
gross profit. Again, same thing. If you have any questions about what some of these parameters mean, just hover your mouse cursor and it will show the description. All right, so we're not going to spend too much time as far as going over all the different metrics within the performance summary or the strategy tester itself. The main thing is showing you and demonstrating what the strategy tester will do. Next, you have list of trades. So list of trades is basically going to give you all the trades that were executed based on the back test that was generated within the strategy tester. You even have the ability to export this data to a, an Excel file as well by clicking this little export data button here. And then you can scroll down. You can basically essentially see all the trades. Another thing that's kind of cool too is if you click on the actual little arrow here where it says scroll the bar, it's like a little circle, almost like a crosshair. It'll actually take you to the bar of that particular trade. And also it'll tell you what that trade was. Was it an exit long, exit short, it was it an entry, etc. So in this case, this was trade 3613, which was the last trade that was executed on this back test. And you can see there, if I click here, this will take me to the actual bar of that entry long. All right. And then last but not least, we have the property. So the properties is basically going to show you what this back test is plotting off, like what parameters, what date range, the symbol information, strategy inputs, as well as strategy properties. If you want to see that information, the details for each one of those categories, simply click the little arrow pointing to the right where it says date range. So in this case, you can see the date range for the back test was between April 28th up until June 10th, which is today's date. Or symbol information as well. You can see the information in this case, we're looking at a micro S&P 500. We're using a candlestick chart. Point value means $5 per point. So basically just information about the market that you're looking at. You have strategy inputs. So this is where you can kind of play around with the different inputs and you can kind of have some fun with it. You know, test out different input values, see how the performance summary is affected by the different input values that you enter, whether you're changing the fast length, slow length, or MACD length based on this specific example of using the MACD strategy. Of course, if you're using a different strategy, you'll see different parameters that are available for you to change. And then last but not least, you have the strategy properties. So this is where by default, normally the strategy will load a, a default value, initial capital, for example, it'll base the, the back test off one contract. You can see there's no commissions being implemented. There's no slippage. So these are some of the parameters that you can play around with to have some fun with this particular tool. Now, if you want to make the changes, what you can do here, notice here, you'll see where it says settings. And if I go into the properties here, this will allow me to change some of those strategy properties. So initial capital, for example, let's just change this down to a smaller number. Let's just say 10,000, for example. And then we can just implement just some hypothetical commission values. Let's just say, for example, 10 and then slippage of value of, let's say, four ticks or better yet, let's just say two ticks. OK, now, as you start adjusting those values and click OK, you'll notice that the strategy tester will update to reflect those changes. All right. So now you can see the values and all the metrics are now changed based on the changes that you have made. Another thing that you can do as well, as I mentioned, the language that's used within the strategies that are used within TradingView is called PineScript. So let's say, for example, you have maybe an introductory level of coding. Maybe you know C Sharp, maybe you know Visual Basics or different platforms that use different languages, but you're not necessarily familiar with PineScript. So what you can do is you can actually view the source code for the actual strategy that you have applied onto the chart. And so how you do that is if you notice here on the MACD strategy on top left corner, you'll see there's a little icon here, which will allow you to view the actual source code. So if I click it, now you can actually view the source code. You can actually hover your mouse cursor over some of the blue icons or even the red icons, and it'll actually give you the definition of what that particular code would mean for that particular syntax within the script itself. Now, of course, this will kind of give you a foundation. You know, of course, this is the actual code itself for the MACD strategy, but now you have a visual of what that code and script looks like. So then maybe that'll give you an, a better idea of how to learn how to code using PineScript if you're not fully familiar with the actual code itself. Now, again, we're not going to go too deep as far as coding. That's next level as far as education. This is more just an introduction to strategy tester. But the cool thing is if you come across, let's say, for example, some scripts or some strategies that are provided by other traders for free, as long as they're able to provide it for free, you're able to view their source code and you can use that as a foundation if you want to add to it or maybe tailor it out based on your preferences. And then one thing I mentioned as well, if we go back to the strategy tester and go to properties, 
If you want to make any changes to the input values of the MACD strategy in this example, you'll see here, you want to go back to settings and you want to go to the inputs. And now you can actually change the input values just like you normally would for a regular old fashioned indicator. And once you start making changes to the parameters, the strategy tester back test performance again will start to update based on the changes that you're making. So you can get a sense of an idea of how this tool can be fun to play with. You can add different strategies on there. If you're already using some of the basic indicators that come with TradingView, you can use if it's available. So let's go back to the list real quick. I'm going to minimize this for just a quick second. In fact, let's go to remove the MACD strategy and let's go back to indicators and let's look at some of the other options that are here. So you can see, for example, let's do, let's say here, let's try, um, Let's do a simple moving average cross, okay? So you can notice a lot of these are just basic indicators that typically come under the normal indicators section. So the reason why I say you can have a little fun with this is let's say if you're already using the MACD or you're already using Kellner channels or Bollinger Bands or whatever the case may be, as a regular indicator, if you wanna be able to play around with some different input values for those indicators, as long as you see it listed as a strategy, you'll be able to apply that strategy onto your chart and you can mess around with some different input values. You can change some of the strategy properties and again, have a little fun with it. So again, this is purely for educational purposes, morally having a better understanding of what the strategy tester is and where to go to access it. And this is a, a basic dive as far as using the strategy tester. But again, one of, one of the biggest strengths, in my opinion, that TradingView has and has to offer as a community, they have really brought the community into their trading platform as a streamlined process to communicate with one, one another. And you're gonna go be able to look at different authors, different traders that are offering some scripts, you know, different trading strategies that they are openly offering for free. And you can kind of just have fun and, and play around with the different strategies that are available to you. In this particular idea video that we're recording right now, this is more just a basic example of some of the basic strategies that come included with TradingView. And you can access them by going to indicators here and make sure you click on technicals, make sure you click the category group where it says strategies here. And again, if, as long as you see a, strategy or script name that has an arrow pointing up and down that's a visual representation that you're actually looking at a strategy and once you click it you can apply it right under the chart and you can go through all the different steps that i pointed out as far as playing around with the properties the different parameters and have some fun with it and this is how you use the strategy tester using the trading view platform